Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia's body is back home in Virginia this morning. He died Friday night in his sleep while on a hunting trip in Texas. A procession of about 20 police officers brought Scalia's body to an El Paso funeral home on Sunday from a West Texas ranch where he was found. There will not be an autopsy because the 79 year old is believed to have died from natural causes. Scalia was the leading conservative on the high court, was appointed by Ronald Reagan back in 1986. President Obama says he intends to nominate Scalia's successor quickly, a rare opportunity for any president, but Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is calling on President Obama to wait and leave the decision in the hands of the voters and the next president. Rank and file Republicans like Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina saying uh, any, Mr. any Obama nominee, that is, will have a rough time being confirmed. The practical consequence is that no one will be appointed that's not a consensus choice. Debate over the nominee is up against an increasingly divisive presidential election. Hillary Clinton rushed to support Mr. Obama's right to pick a nominee, pushing the Senate to confirm that choice. But the Republican candidates have vowed to stand in the way and once elected, nominate a conservative in the mold of Scalia.